Have you ever played this LEGO Star Wars game? Yeah, I hadn't either. This video isn't sponsored, but thanks to Apple and my new iPhone, I got a free subscription to Apple Arcade. For those of you who don't know, Apple Arcade is a subscription service in which you can subscribe on the App Store and use Apple Arcade apps. Surprisingly enough, Apple Arcade actually has a pretty healthy app library, as well as a pretty large population too. Thankfully, I'm not a sucker, and I won't be using this after my free trial, but after coming across this LEGO Star Wars Battles game, I absolutely had to try it. Upon opening the game, you're greeted with the Apple Arcade logo, and of course Disney, Lucasfilm, bringing you into LEGO Star Wars Battles. If you've ever played Clash Royale, then you've played this game. The battle sequence is so very similar, it's pretty obvious that they ripped it off, but in a way that adds a little bit of a spin to it. In order to win, you have to end with more towers than your opponent, or completely destroy all of your opponent's towers, including their command center. The command centers are actually one of the cooler parts of this. They're all little micro builds that actually exist in real LEGO. In real gameplay, the games go one of two ways. Sometimes they're like this. they can also go like this. I can already hear your just get better comments, so save those while I explain. Because the game is a very similar copy to Clash Royale, they also copied a lot of the mannerisms of Clash Royale, like a progression system that awards paying to win. However, because this is Apple Arcade, paying to win is impossible since you can't pay. There are no in-app purchases, which is a great thing. It rewards the grind of the game and makes a better playing experience because your rewards are actually something you earned. But the downside of that is you have to pay to actually play the game. The reason to me why Clash Royale and Clash of Clans work is because they're free to play. You don't have to pay to enter the game. You can play completely free and be good eventually. Just paying for in-app purchases helps a little bit. But because less people are willing to pay for a subscription to play this game, there are less players. So you're gonna be playing against people who are more dedicated and make it harder to progress. It's been really challenging to find a game that's actually even on both sides. Either I'm crushing someone or someone's crushing me. On top of that, the game still includes loot boxes the exact same way as Clash Royale. And they are just as annoying to open, if even worse. But you don't pay for them, so what are they there for? Why add loot boxes as a progression system than just giving you a regular progression system? It just doesn't make sense. The model of this game is based on free to play. It's like TT Games just copied everything about Clash Royale, but then didn't make it so it was worth it for a subscription. This game actually does some things really well though. There are some fun elements to it, and while it's a little bit harder to understand than Clash Royale, it has a lot of fun, unique details that only come from LEGO Star Wars. The IP here is the winning factor, and being able to see a bomb squad trooper or a squad of droids roll out on the battlefield is awesome, because you can even recreate those in your own LEGO collection. The cards in the game are actually really good, and you get two different sides, a dark side and a light side, so you can play with different decks all the time, so you're not stuck with just one meta. The problem with that though is if you get dark side and your dark side deck sucks, then someone can just pound you, even if your light side deck is amazing. Helps you build skill, I guess. So who is this game for? On one hand, you could say it's for every LEGO Star Wars fan, but 
one thing, not every LEGO Star Wars fan has an iPhone, but also not every LEGO Star Wars fan wants to pay a subscription for a video game service. Imagine if this was free with in-app purchases, LEGO would be making so much more money from it, and I think it could even rival Clash Royale. In the ads of Apple Arcade, this game is hardly ever shown, but from what I've experienced from Apple Arcade, this is actually one of the better games, but because it's stuck on Apple Arcade, it falls short of what it could be. I seriously think this game could be a hit, and while it has some flaws, it's better than Clash Royale in a lot of different ways. Unfortunately though, most people are probably never going to play this. Apple Arcade just really isn't that great, and I don't think I know anyone who's subscribed to it. I don't even know why I'm using the free trial. This game has some serious elements of the free-to-play model that Crash Royale uses, but then it's locked behind a subscription paywall. It's an unrealistic model for a game that could actually be pretty good if you could actually play it without Apple Arcade. So tell me what you think in the comments down below. I'd love to hear if you've played this game and what your thoughts are on the overall mechanics, how similar it is to Clash Royale, and what you think they can do to make it better. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Peace.